What up everybody, Buck here, and today we are going to beat the forest. Now, I've had a little bit of trouble trying to make sure I go into the right caves while playing this game, so I wanted just to make a quick video showing where you actually need to go and what you need to get to actually beat the game properly. So first off, we are on the coast right along the beach as you can see on the west side of the map. I pretty much have my whole entire map discovered but we're going to start right here and go to our first marker. To find a rebreather cave it is pretty much right near the anchor that's in the water. So if you're standing right near the anchor you're going to see my two blue markers on the screen right now. One is to the left and one is to straight ahead pretty much. The one right here is the main entrance to the cave but you can go to the above spot which takes you a little bit closer to the rebreather which is where I'm going to be going ignore the one over there for now that's where we will be heading next but you'll need the rebreather to go swim quite a ways underwater to go save your son or what's left of him. Going down into the cave. Now I cleared out mostly everything in the cave, so you're not really gonna see anything. But we go down this way. You went this way. You would come across the other entrance where you came in at, which we are not gonna go. You're gonna go deep into the cave. Usually there's a few guys in this room, but it's not that hard to take them out. Did spend some time getting that gun. Might as well just use it. So you're just gonna go forward a little bit, and then you're gonna go down here. Go down here. And go forward a little bit and turn a left. And here's the rebreather right next to this skeleton dude who has one on him. Just pick that up, pick that up. And you can put the rebreather on. And if it gets slow, you just open up your inventory and a left click on one of your air canisters. Alrighty, we are now out of the cave. And it's time to go to the next spot. Which is up here. Now, you probably won't have these markers set everywhere. So you're just going to, I'd say, I guess, look at this rock. But you're pretty much just going down the whole water coastline up to the containers so to make it easier for you I'm just going to look at the water and go up and as you see to the left there's the first container on this spot on the map I guess it's a consider like the northwestern part not that far northwest But as you can see, we were at that cave a little bit south of us. And now we are up here, and this is where you'll get the key card that you actually need to go inside of the vault. Containers are there, and the cave is right here. Also, if you want to be able to see in the dark a little bit better, you can also just turn your color, color grading to M131 or Modern, from what I've heard, is the two best things you can do. I usually keep mine at M131. So you go in here. Just 
keep running for a bit. You, there's a little way you can go down here. There's nothing in that section. Don't even bother going down there. When you get to the key card area, there's going to be a guy down there. But you can shoot him from above. Just keep going. Here it is. Also, there will be babies down there and whatnot, but like I said, you can just stand up top and just molly them down. Or shoot them down, or you can just run past them if you're quick enough. And the key card is buried beneath the bodies. There it is. On this guy's hand. And you got item two out of three. Next we're gonna be getting the climbing tool. Now this one isn't really so far from where we're at right now. You're pretty much just going to be following the water. And I gotta watch out for all those guys over there. Might keep my gun out. Oh, they're already coming to me. I'm on like Day 20 of my playthrough, so yeah, there's a bunch of guys around now. <laughs> Let's try to avoid them at all costs. I do not want to start anything, even though it's probably going to be more guys in front of me. And we're pretty much just heading towards that house over there, the house marker. And it has two. Now you're not going in this one. It's this one right behind it. You don't want to go in that one. You're going to keep going up. So you're going to the one that's at this little tent by itself. And this is where you're going to be getting the climbing tool. There's also another... There's also another entry way you can go in here, but I usually just go in this one. Because I can easily remember this one. That's why it doesn't really have a marker next to it. It's not too many guys you're going to come across when you're going this way. Only when you're trying to get the climbing tool itself. I actually tried to get it without killing anybody. But the climbing tool room actually has a, quite a few guys in there. Like... I think it's around three or four and they blocked me off so they did that they pretty much just killed me they all circled around me I couldn't really escape so you're just gonna go underwater there you don't even need to have a underwater breathing suit for it so don't worry about having to rebreather if you don't already have it you're gonna go down here there's a bunch of little babies ignore them and just keep moving slide through here Also why I go through this way is because once I get the climbing tool, I usually just go straight down. You can go down the normal way, but I really just climb down here. It's an easy way down, and once you hit the ground, you just gotta pretty much just run to the center of the water. Little campsite here, not really all that much here besides bones and stuff. Food, dynamite, whatever. Nothing all that great. Keep going forward. Turn that flashlight on. Up and around. Don't go down there. There's nothing down there. As far as I know. Jump, 
try not to fall down there or you're going to have to go all the way down there just to get back up. Now this is where I was talking about where the enemies are usually at. They might be here for me, I don't know. Okay, they're not here. This is usually where they'll be. Three to four of them. Here's your climbing tool and you are set. Now going down can take some skill but right here it's pretty easy as long as you have some pills on you and you hold hug the wall and you jump you should be able to make it down easily we're just gonna go down here slowly go down a little bit at a time don't rush it and always try to look before you actually just go because you might be able to go down one step, but then you're not going to be able to go down the next step without taking a big ass fall. I'm going to try going down without taking any damage. That way doesn't look good, but it's going to keep going this way. Oh, that one hurt. That's fine, we got plenty of pills. We're already down here. You want to try to avoid all these dudes, unless you just want to clear it all out. There's nothing else down here at this pit area, but more dynamite. You don't really need dynamite. You might want it for the end game boss, so I would. You might want to pick it up, but for now, we're just got to get to the center. Go down right here. And right in front of us are going to be two dudes that charge. They don't really kill you or do that much damage, but you want to be ready. And you're just pretty much just going to jump in the water. Here's your little hole. And then you just start heading to the vault. That's pretty much how you get into the vault in forest. I hope that helped you guys. Thank you for watching. Like the video if you liked the video and or if it helped you at all. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks again. Induces.